Hi, today I want to talk about iOS scanning. iOS scanning is one method of communication in Unity Pro PLCs. It's actually based on master and a slave communication. So one device going to be the master and rest of your device is going to be the slave. So for this example, what we want to do, we want to just, let's say that we have one PLC and IP of the address of that PLC, the master PLC is 192.168.1.29 and IP address of the slave PLC is 192.168.1.30 and these two PLCs are in a network using a central device. What you want to do, you want to copy few registers from the slave device to the master device and we want to copy few registers from the master device to the slave device. We are going to do all this sitting in a master device and a slave device is not going to do anything so you don't need to worry about the slave device. So now I am going to make use of Unity Pro and I'm going to use exactly the same settings that I used in the previous video. Here in Ethernet 1, which is my network, if I was setting set to no, I am going to change it to yes. And if I change it to yes, then I should be able to have access to iOS scanning which is here. Right now I have something written here let me delete it and cut the line and then explain that again. So what's happening? First of all first of all let's have a look you can see that we have 43 rows that means this mass this PLC can actually handle 43 transaction and 43 communication with 43 devices so now we want to communicate with the device with IP 192.168.1.30 okay after entering the IP address we're gonna get some default value. We can change this default value. One of the things, one of the numbers that we got by default is 255. 255 is number of the voices that be that can be connected <coughs> to the equipment <coughs> to uh, the PLC. So we can, so we can change it to one any number between 1 to 255 so let's say for example we change this number to one and after that here we have a slave syntax so we can have it as an index or we can change it to modbus or iec standard and there are two iec standards one of these standards is start registers with zero and another one start registers with with one in unity pro we use this standard iec0 and the other standard that we use is modbus if you use modbus the number is going to be something like that four few zero and after that one because modbus start with one so let's go back to iec0 and now with iec0 so now we want to set up the communication with device 1. So there are some numbers here. If you want, if you have a reason, you can change these numbers. Otherwise, leave them the way they are. And then we have, we have reference, read reference, a slave, read reference, read master object read length lost value 
and some other stuff to save. Now, after doing the initial settings, we need to decide where to read and where to write. So, the first thing that we want to decide is where to read, where to copy the information that is uh, that you want to read because you need to copy them somewhere in memory of your PLC so let's say it is in memory address for example 52 and then if you change it to 52 then you can see that your PLC going to update this number to 52 then that's the master that's the master object so a uh, stuff that's going to be stuff that are in memories that are in your slave device going to be copied in your master then where you want to read which memory you want to read so say for example you want to read from memory 10 memory word 10 and then what is your length length of your package how many bytes how many words you want to read for example we want to read five words okay so we want to read five words and these words are located in this address memory word 10 and then this words going to be copied from this address memory word 52 so memory word 52 memory word 53 memory word 54 55 56 57 so they are going to hold all information that are located in the um, in the slave device from memory 10 memory word 10 until memory word 15 because of the length of the, the length that we have at the same time we can copy we can copy some of our information some of information stored in the uh, master device to the slave device so here write reference so write reference is the place that data in the master device is stored and we want this information to be copied to another place so let's say this is stuff this information are stored in memory word hundreds so if we write down hundreds here then automatically we're gonna get hundreds here memory word hundreds and then memory word hundred to what so we need to identify the length so for example it is 10 memory words so if we write down 10 here then we're gonna get memory word hundred until memory word hundred and nine. So memory word hundred until memory word hundred and nine. Now what default going to be stored, going to be copied in the reference on the reference device from memory word zero. We can change it to, for example, memory word three hundred. So if we do that, then this Ten memory words going to be copied from memory word 300 that's it and we don't need to do any extra configuration in the master for the master PLC so all we need to do is to analyze the project and after analyzing the project build the project and then either use a standard or simulation if you wanted to talk with the actual plc use a standard if you just wanted to do simulation go for simulation connect your device and transfer your project 
to the PLC and run it. It is very easy and as I told you, you don't have to do any setting on the master device. So this PLC is going to get information from the master, the, from the slave device and going to copy its information to the slave, to the slave device as well. That's all for today.